That's right. Stay out. As you see, I just kicked somebody out of my house, out of my home, and out of my life forever. Do you want to know who it was? It was me. It was part of me. The other day at the wave pool, I had a couple revelations. One of them definitely I would already shared with you guys about, um, well, I'll link that up right here. So just click on that little card and you can go straight to it. Um, this particular time, I want to share something that was very revolutionary for me and something that has been holding me back for a long time. And I could have blamed any other, any other person but myself, but it was me. I wasn't a good friend to myself. These are five characteristics of people that I will not keep in my life. And I was all five of those. Now I'm able to say I don't want that, even if it is me. I don't want that in my life. <clears throat> the first characteristic is if all you... I have them on sticky notes. I'll show you in a minute. All you do is speak negative to me and tell me what I'm not. <clears throat> I don't need you in my life. If you're going to just tell me all the things I don't do, the, all the things that I'm not becoming, and all the things I never was or will be, I don't need you in my life. I did those things to myself. Sometimes more than just a daily basis. Sometimes a couple times a day. It was time to say goodbye. Out the door that went. The second characteristic of someone I do not want in my life is... If all they want is something from me without giving something back in return, I won't be used. But again, I used myself. I used myself in a way that um, was very unflattering. Probably made me very hard to love, hard to understand, and hard to get to know. Because when you're, you're doing something you know you don't want, you try to hide it from the world, but yet the world can see right through you. Third characteristic of someone I don't want in my life, including for myself, is um, having someone who no longer brings value into my life. If you're not bringing value to me, or to our relationship, or to, to our friendship, um, I don't need you. The problem was I stopped bringing value to me hurts to say that. It hurts. Um, and we tend to do it often. And we need to stop it. The fourth characteristic of someone I do not want in my life is someone who constantly makes me question who I am as a person and the reasons I make the choices that I do. Yes, there's beneficial qualities in checking, checking your boundaries, seeing what's going on and why you're doing it. But if all that I'm doing that for is to criticize myself or you or someone else, I don't need that in my life. I did it every day. I did it to myself. I did it to people I loved. Every day. There's one of the sticky notes. I'm going to put you on a pause because I hear a bounce and basketball behind me which means there's someone fixing a knock on my door. Maybe not. <laughs> and the fifth and final quality of someone I do not want in my life, I'm including for myself, is if I'm in that relationship feeling lonely, alone, afraid, and angry, and those are being my best feelings at the moment. And I was all those. Even a couple weeks ago, I had a couple days where I just wanted to run away from myself. And there's no way to do that. Where I go, I go. <laughs> and so the only way to change that is to change your perspective, change your thinking. Um, allow yourself to become who you want to be. No one says you have to stay who you are. No one says you have to stay in the same pattern that you're in. You are allowed to change those things. You really are. You don't have to stay stuck. I'm going to give you a quote. Um, from Paul C. Branson, and this is perfect. And it says, the relationship you have with yourself sets a standard for the relationships you have with all others. And it's true. 
It really is. I just my other sticking out. <laughs> um, you guys have got to stop. Remember this standard that you set with yourself is the same standard that you are going to focus all your other relationships on, no matter what they might be. Maybe it's time for you to open that door and say, don't come back. It's very freeing to do that. And thank you for allowing me to do it on this video, on this channel. And thank you for watching this, this video. It's time to come face to face with who you are. Whether you like who you are. Maybe you like parts of you. I love parts of me. Ah, I think that's going to be crazy. I like parts of me. I really do. I love them. Now I'm learning how to let go of the parts I don't like. I'm learning how to say, see ya, and don't come back because I don't want you and don't need you in my life. If I cannot find value in you in that activity, then it's time to say goodbye. Um, again, this was geared at no one, el no one out there. This was towards me. Um, it is just a phase that I am facing um, in my own growth and development. See you guys next time.